Pichu Sheik, this should be a really aggressive match, I would think. The only rushdown character in the game, Pichu, versus another character that can definitely close quarters brawl it out. We are going to see some uh, very, very fast frame data being pressed on some of these buttons. Best of, best of three. Yeah, best this is going to be best of three. So let's get that up there. Yep. We are not in top eight with this loser set. And we should be able to see some crazy combos. Can you switch the... Well, yeah, we're going to full screen. There we go. Cool. Uh, yeah, let's be professional here. I wonder if Pichu being ludicrously light screws with any Sheik confirms. Because I know there are like some characters where like, oh, their bread and butter confirm like either stops working or becomes incredibly small percentage radius just because like Pichu is ludicrously light. Some Sheik main in chat will have to give us the details on that. Yeah, I'm hanging in there. But Pichu is not the only ludicrously light character on screen. Sheik may not be quite as light as Pichu, but still one of the lightest characters in the game, so... Might see some early KOs. Jeez, that, the fact that that move puts you into knockdown and then Pichu gets to try and check chase you, it's kind of insane. Nice uh, not just going directly for the ledge, though. That bouncing fish covered a lot, but just kind of fast falling away from it. Oh, but jeez, I cannot believe Sheik survived that. Oh, but tries to go for like the kind of like I think that's the like the two frame unto frameable recovery, where you're able to like hold down and not grab the ledge until you're right next to it, and then you grab the ledge frame one. Uh, but he was uh, just a bit late on letting go of down, and so therefore tossed himself into the blast zone. Ooh, I think he tried the landing trap with up smash, but. The disjoint on Pichu's landing hitbox of down air was bigger? With the rage that kills? He's moving. As I warned you, Sheik is a light character. It's kind of crazy that that like, sent him to tumble too, I think. I think, I don't think that move sends him to tumble that early on like Bowser. But finally a Sheik back air is enough to seal the deal. You do not see Sheik back air from center stage seal a sock off every day, but when Pichu's on screen, anything can happen. I once killed a Pichu with me Sword Fighter down tilt. Like, from stage height. Just flew directly into the blast zone at like 220%. Nice get up attack. If you hit neutral get up there or ledge jumped, that was uh, probably the end of the stock. Seen some nares. This is some real Smash Ultimate gameplay right now. Safe landing aerial, safe landing aerial. <laughs> wow, that was a. Name a more iconic topic in stream chat other than drunk driving in Wisconsin. For real, though. Oh man, that's. Would have been a confirm if that hadn't traded, but the final hit of back air only is enough to steal the deal at the end of the stage. And that will be 1-0 for Fuyo. And like I said before, this is just a best of three. Fuyo one game away from making top eight. I wonder where the stage pick is going to be. We started PS2. I, I would imagine FD is where Sheik would most like to be, so that's probably banned. Uh, but this stage list has three FDs on it, does it not? I think we should go to one of those. If I was Fatalis, that's what I would be doing. Nope, we're just going back to PS2. Yeah, I mean, uh, I wonder what the one that was left unbanned was. Because if, like, if it was Town, taking a Pichu to Town is a bit scary. Just because the Blast Zones are really nice for Pichu. And some of the transformations, it can get, like, really, really crazy combos. But no, we're just going back to PS2. The long stage, I think, does benefit Sheik. 
so might as well give it another shot. Not sure exactly what the adaptations are supposed to be. Not super familiar in this matchup, but I would like to see more needle camping. Not because that would be particularly beneficial for either player, I just really like watching Sheik needle camp. Okay, that was almost really bad because he did get DI mixed up, but even Pichu was just barely heavy enough to survive that. Oh, does not get the, uh, the correct launch on that bouncing fish to pull off the confirm. Okay, but finally starting to punish these uh, neutral air out of shields on the neutral air by just like doing your frame advantage thing with that jab. Okay, I think that was an attempted flip to a punish. Would have taken the stock with the downer and up smash confirmed, but honestly, maybe Pichu is too high percent for that to have worked. And uh, you didn't get the frames regardless. Ooh, barely misses that tech chase, and uh, back here's a little bit too stale. Ooh, tries to hit the ledge jump with a down smash. Pichu with this much rage is simply unnatural, but when you play a character like Sheik, this is what's gonna happen, and that makes things scary. <laughs> have you ever seen a Sheik fair have that much knockback? Finally, Sheik F tilt will take it. Oh wow, was that a bouncing fish attempt? I saw like a little splash graphic pop up. Okay, this could... no. I think that was a Pichu being really light thing. Like, that combo on like any other fast faller, like, yeah, that's probably gonna work. But on Pichu? Nah, he, he gets to go real far away. Oh, yeah, not quite low enough to the ground to get the smash confirmed. But Fatal is doing an excellent job of bringing this back. Okay, going for the... Oh, yeah, that's like a, an ancient like Smash 4 kill confirm. Oh, and thank you, Namco Balance Team, for weakening the knockback growth of that move, allowing Sheik to survive. Okay, but a back air directly from ledge, punishing the ledge trap attempt. This is gonna be Fuyo on his last stock of this game. You definitely would prefer not to go to a game three in a situation like this. But Fatalis absolutely would prefer to go to a game three here. Getting some frame traps, trapping the landing afterwards, winning neutral once again. Missing the ledge trap though, and that is going to cost him his stock on the next interaction. And Pichu Sheik, especially a Pichu with rage. Yeah, Fatalis has every right to start fishing for these kill confirms. One of them has to work eventually, but will eventually come before you lose your own stock? That is the question. And Fuyu has to play so safe here. What you can do with your Pichu. Oh my oh. goodness! What the heck? I guess that that's a what the hell was that? <laughs> what the fuck? Wow. Unexpected.